President Michael D. Higgins has led tributes to former jockey Pat Smullen, who has died at the age of 43. The nine-time Irish champion flat jockey was diagnosed with cancer two years ago. A final trip down the Curraway. Greats of the sport gathered to say goodbye this afternoon to Pat Smullen. His wife Frances received a wreath from Brian Kavner, who heads up the industry here. Everyone there with their own memories of how Pat Smullen touched their lives. He did what few others could do, ride winners consistently. This was him in 2016, possibly his best year, claiming both the Epsom and Irish derbies with Harzand. These were two of hundreds of winners he rode for Dermot Weld, an incredibly successful partnership. He was consistent right through from his apprentice days. He only got better. He was a world-class jockey, but he's the way he applied himself to it in life in general. He made sure he got everything right. And when he was hard on himself, when he got beaten one, he'd go and analyse it and talk to Dermot and whatever it was and try to do it better the next day. He never took him for granted. And he never got big-headed. He wore the championship crown beautifully. Many, though, thought Smullen was equally heroic in how he dealt with his illness. After a diagnosis of pancreatic cancer in 2018, he campaigned tirelessly to raise awareness of the illness. This was him a year ago at his fundraising champions race at the Curra. We thought we were getting there and uh, we're on the right side of it, but unfortunately, I don't know, what is it now, maybe a month ago we got a bit of a, a, a setback and uh, we're undergoing chemotherapy again, but it's your life's full of setbacks, isn't it, you know, and we just have to deal with it and, uh, and thankfully we're getting on with it and getting through it. Pat Smullen is survived by his wife Frances and children Hannah, Paddy and Sarah.